Criminal justice advocates are calling on Lackawanna County officials to end solitary confinement. They went before the prison board this afternoon. 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Julie Dunphy was there. She joins us live now in Scranton with the latest. Julie. Mark, good evening. Solidarity, not solitary. That was the message from a group of local advocates that are pushing for reform after hearing about 20 accounts from inmates who were in solitary confinement in the Lackawanna County Prison. We heard about the withholding of medication for serious physical and mental health issues, unsafe and inedible food, failure to provide access to programming or proper out of cell time in periods of extended isolation. The group NEPA stands up and Lackawanna County voters expressed their concerns to the Lackawanna County Prison Board Wednesday to give inmates placed in solitary confinement more hours outside of that cell seeing the sky. 13,665 petition signatures were obtained over the summer to give voters a choice to end solitary confinement in the Lackawanna County Prison. However, that's not the term the Lackawanna County Prison Warden would use to describe it. We don't use that term. We haven't used that term in my career, my 30-year-plus career at What's the jail. The term you use? We, we have a restrictive housing unit. We have things like administrative custody, protective custody, disciplinary custody. According to Lackawanna County Prison Warden Tim Betty, there are 9 by 12 cells large enough for two people with cells above and below. Every cell has a gap about that big underneath the door that uh, for airflow purposes, communication purposes. The warden says the average length of stay in the restrictive housing unit is 14 days. The petition was turned into the county election board in August and commissioners denied its addition to the November ballot, which is why they brought it to the prison board's attention and filed a lawsuit against the county commissioners today. Essentially, we are asking the court to reverse the wrong that the Board of Elections did, and that is to put the solitary confinement referendum on the ballot so the voters of Lack Lackawanna County can make the final decision. After hearing concerns over solitary confinement in the county prison, County Controller Gary DeBilio said he would like a tour of the facility to be arranged. Uh, I think that's a great step. Our referendum was asking for, instead of 23 hours a day, that they'd be down to 20 hours a day. The warden says that could be difficult with 22% of the current prison population in the restrictive housing unit. Now, Warden Betty says that he's trying to do the most effective job ensuring the safety of the inmates while giving them as much programming and rehabilitation as possible with the budget that he's given, which is set by the county commissioners, I might add. Now, Eyewitness News also has asked for a tour of the prison. Now, this is not guaranteed. We are told that cameras will not be allowed in, but we are still going to push through and follow through with that tour. Mark. Julia's story we will certainly follow at the prison. Thanks.